Hey everyone, welcome to day 18 of Leap to Lead. Um, we actually have a few things to do today. I want to apologize in advance for my voice. I have a cold and it's just not working well with me today, so it might cut in and out. But um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to finish up our list of 100 according to the alphabet. And after today, it's going to be completely on your own um, in terms of adding people to it. And remember, you always want to be adding people to it. So um, really work hard to find new contacts and add them to your list. And I really hope that the things we've went over all the way through the alphabet have given you um, some good ideas and have really helped. So we are going to do T through Z today. And remember, if you need to pause it to write them down, definitely do that instead of coming back to it. Just, you know, listen to a couple, pause it, write them, and so on. So we're going to start with T today. I'm going to get my list so I can read it here. Okay, so these are just ideas for your list of 100. So if you know anybody that fits these, um, write them on your list. Okay, so we're going to start with T. We have a tailor, a talented person, a teacher or a teacher's aide. We have a tennis coach, a therapist, a thrift store worker, a traveler, Twitter friends, or a tradesperson. We're going to go to you, and that is uncles or university classmates, V, vacation friends, veterinarian, VIP customers or VIP hosts, voice coach, volunteer. Next is W, we have waitress, walking group member, waxing technician. You can go back to your wedding list and find people on there a wedding planner, a weight loss coach, or a weight loss member, maybe someone who's in groups to lose weight, um, wives of co-workers, or your husband's friends' wives or co-workers' wives. Next is X. We have x-ray technician. We move on to Y. Yoga classmate or your instructor. So if there's people in your yoga class that you get to know, or even, you know, your friends that go to yoga. Someone who is youthful, a youth group leader. And finally is Z, and we have zoo worker for that one. So that is the complete alphabet, just some different ideas everywhere. And yeah, so we're finished with that part of it. Um, and like I said before, I really hope it helped and I want you to remember that it's so important to keep adding people. It really does help. It's something you can look at and we're always meeting new people so there's really no reason we shouldn't just keep adding to it. And okay, so the next part of it, now that we're done with our list of 100, we're going to move on to something else. Uh, we've already talked about our websites a bit and you should be starting to add your website to different things and uh, the goal is for... your that your customers to see your website. You want your website in front of all your customers and all your potential customers. And you want that there so they can click on it, they can browse, they can order. Um, along with the ideas we've already mentioned, I just want to give another one that, you know, might be an incentive to people. And it's a customer of the month draw. And now this is a personal special. So this cannot be advertised on Facebook in Facebook groups, on Instagram, anywhere public that people can see it. Even if you have a VIP page, don't put it there. This will have to be places like face-to-face. -face. Um, you can text, you can email it, or you can send a private Facebook message. And that's normally what I do because I feel like a lot of my customers and people I know are on Facebook. So that's like the easiest way to reach. And that's my favorite way. But, I mean, you can call people too if you like that. That's, that's really effective if you're comfortable doing that. And um, text is great too because you know they're going to get it. Maybe some people don't like answering the phone, but they'll text. So that's a great way too. And for this, uh, how this works is you'll pick like certain days, maybe say June 1st to June 15th. And you'll say anybody who orders within that time period will go into uh, a drawing for a free prize. Now, you can um, 
message people that so they'll know. Say if you're going to order anything through these days, you know, you'll be put into a drawing for a free gift. And that gift can really be anything. It can be something you have on hand or it can be something that you're going to order. It's really up to you. It doesn't have to be big. But free prizes in general, people like. I mean, people like free stuff. And But we want to make sure that we're not spending a whole lot of money. And there's definite ways to do it. A Scentsy Bar, a Scent Circle, anything like that. And um, you can also do mystery prizes. And some people might like this, and you might even like this because people might get more excited. You can actually have a mystery prize, and you can give clues as to what it is. People won't actually know until you pick it, but you can give like little clues and get people excited for it. So those are just a few ideas about you know ordering from your website, and it's just try to build excitement about it. Um, and you know another really cool thing about our website is that customers can, we can, or I'm sorry, we can actually go directly to our websites and we can see a product, find a product that you love. If it's um, anything, if you like the buddies or if you have a favorite warmer, just something you really love and you know, you can do it with other things too, but start with something you love. Underneath the products, there's actually little icons and you can share it directly to some of your pages. Like I would share to Facebook because I use Facebook most, but you can share it to other things as well. And so if you click it, it's going to link it directly to your page. Now, when it's on your Facebook page, people can actually click that link and it will go directly to that product. So it's a really super easy way for people to shop instead of saying, you know, um, I love the Stargaze Warmer, find it on my website. You can now have a link that goes directly to it when it's available. I'm just using that as, as an example. but. If the link's up, they can just click on it. It's right there. They can order it. It's it's super easy. So I think that's a great thing of, about our websites. And I'm happy we have it because it makes it easier, which is always best. And just remember to keep advertising your website. Just keep working on it, trying to get it in front of people. That's important. And um, the last kind of part of this here is I know that you're working really hard on booking parties. And I want you to keep... I want you to remember to keep writing ding every time you get a party and remember it can be any it can be home basket catalog facebook any party do a ding so we can share with you and for the people who are having trouble getting someone to commit to a party um, you can try something a little bit outside of the box maybe someone doesn't you know want to have the traditional home party where they don't have people over they do but they just can't commit to it so an easy thing to do is, and you can, you can come up with other things like, a, like a, some of you maybe heard of a, a sip and sniff. You can actually go to Starbucks and your host and her guests can come with you. Everybody can get a coffee and sit down and just relax in like a public environment and um, smell the testers and order that way. So that's, I mean, it's different than a home party, but you're still face to face with them. And it, they might be more relaxed if they don't want it at their house and they don't want to do all the work collecting the orders. So that's another idea that you can try. And you can also do like an open house that way. You can invite people, like people can come and go and you can have it out and you can get yourself a coffee and just hang out and just have everything on the table and people can come and go as they please. And this is like, this is a good idea, I think, because you're not having to buy all the refreshments, all the snacks, everything. People can come in and grab a coffee and sit with you. So it's easy and maybe people are more comfortable with it. I mean, a lot of people like Starbucks, honestly, so they're maybe not going to mind being there. And another thing that is kind of outside the box is theme parties. I like to do theme parties because I like to dress up a lot. I mean, um, I still feel like I'm a kid sometimes and I used to do that all the time when I was younger and now not so much, but this is a way to kind of let people you know, loosen up a little bit. I mean, we all have really tough schedules during the week. We're all busy. We all have activities. So this is really a way that people can actually loosen up. I mean, you can do really any theme. You can do what 80s, you know, uh, ugly Christmas sweaters. You can do neon, anything you want. And that, that might, I mean, people might think that's a lot of fun and they might want to do something different than just sitting at a home party. So I want you to, if you booked any, if you book any kind of theme party or sip and sniff, from today on, I want you to post below, and if it's a theme, I want you to share your theme with us, 
because you know it's it's nice sharing ideas and someone else might find your idea awesome and want to use it for themselves for a party or find a host that would love that theme so um yeah just post below if you get a themes party and what it is so yeah just keep up the great work i just love seeing everything in this group i love seeing all the comments even the ones that i post i regularly check back because people are commenting still and it's just really exciting to see i like how excited you are and i can't believe we're on um what day 18 already which is awesome and you guys are doing great so um yeah keep it up and i will talk to you soon okay bye